You will now compete for our winners in Oh, uh, hang on. Just a sec here. I think we got it. Well, wait. Let me make sure. Just cut this out of here. Eh, this text is a little blurry. Let me just enhance that. Okay, can I get like a reset button or something? Ah, there we go. Man, I just wish I could see like uh, different colors. I don't really want... Oh, okay. Eh, blue's not bad. Oh, wow, actually pink is pretty dope. All right, well, we'll come back to that. Now, if I'm really gonna recreate this thing right, let me make a list of what I need. I see they're using a bold and blocky font. Looks like they put some grid lines on top. Maybe a wee bit of shadow around the outside. And the final thing I'm noting here is that I'm gonna have to come up with a good way to cycle through the digits. But first, a quick word about today's sponsor, Frontend Masters. Have you ever wished that somebody, somewhere out there, anyone at all, would say, you know what, today I'm gonna create an entire high quality front end development bootcamp. And then don't you just wish they'd say, to heck with profit on this one, I'm gonna make this whole thing free. Well, you're in luck, my friend, because Frontend Masters has done exactly that. Taught by industry leading experts, over 21 hours of awesome project-based learning to help you jumpstart your web dev career. And when you're done, for just $39 a month, over 150 additional courses on everything web dev related you could possibly imagine. So click the link in the description if you wanna check out the free bootcamp or any of their other amazing content. Now, the reason I'm able to do what I do is not because I know more than you. It's simply because I've chosen a plan to pay attention to as many details as I possibly can. It's kind of a game with no one way to win. You just need to find a good place to begin. We'll start with the font or maybe the border. It doesn't really matter. Neither one's out of order. Once we have those, we'll find the color they chose. Looks like some shade of green, I suppose. I see a problem, however, that's not abundantly clear. The edges are dimmer than the center, I fear. There's at least one way I know to make them less radiant, and it comes in the form of a radial gradient. We can't stop there. We're still missing a line that repeats itself across our sign. We'll start with some wide ones and then make them skinnier. A gradient again, but this time it's linear. Since we stopped it at seven, no matter the color, our gradient repeats from one end to the other. Let's take a step back now to examine our text and consider the logic that surely comes next. But hyperplexed, you say, there's no way you're equipped to come up with rhymes about JavaScript. Oh, believe me, my friend, I'm tremendously stressed. But alas, we move on with this terrible test. We'll begin with a function. Its role is quite major to determine which characters are numerical in nature. And while those that are not are simply placed in a span, the remainder move on to the next step of our plan. In the case of a number, the first one being four, imagine if instead we inserted nine more. A wee bit of styling to fix the orientation, followed by a fairly straightforward calculation to determine the correct length of translation. Everything's still visible, but that can be overridden with one single property, overflow hidden. Ugh, are we done yet? Are you even having fun yet? To the latter, I don't know, but I'm ready to go. And I'm worried these digits are moving too slow. You see, the initial design was from zero to nine. And as a starting point, that was perfectly fine. But if we were to pull off a realistic ticker, the left side should be slower and the right should be quicker. To that, I propose that we increase our limit, staggering our numbers based on the place of the digit. So that over the course of a three second duration, due to the varying length of translation, we'll have achieved a reasonable adaptation. Just one final thought before I head for the door. Nah, just kidding. I can't do this anymore.